Here we have a very exciting power supply that I purchased online, 5 volt, it's a USB type kind of power supply with a very nice uh, seller and we're going to see what this Meanwell power supply has in its guts. Uh, Meanwell is known for uh, fairly high quality power supply but the reputation is fairly good and usually we get good products. So if we disappointed by, by what we see in here, it probably is because it is counterfeit. Purchased from AliExpress, you sometimes get counterfeit goods. So let's crack this open directly. Yeah, if I can manage. Okay, this is probably easier. So I haven't switched it on yet. This is the first time I'm opening the box. And we're going to see what we have inside. Not so easy to open. Well, it wasn't that hard. So, and out it comes. We seem to have very interesting features. First of all, is that we have uh, branded capacitors. Components are glued to the PCB, which means they're not going to wiggle around, meaning that they paid at least some attention. We've got a nice, a very nice uh, insulation uh, space between the which side is AC which side is DC uh, between the AC and DC side um, this is embarrassing I lost the side okay so AC is in this what well, was written there you moron and the DC is output is there so we've got a nice separation I could have guessed it come on look good look guys the AC side is much less dense than the DC side okay and here we have a very other interesting feature is we have a very 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 beefy uh, diode for on the output side which is not that surprising and surprising at the same time uh, looking at the specs because we have a 2.4 amp uh, 5 volt DC um, power supply here and the other interesting feature that I directly see here is the DC output adjustment, which lets you fine tune it to get the exact voltage you want. And this is very nice as well. Other than that, what do we see? Look here, we see an optocoupler. This is also very interesting to have because it lets you, uh, it it provides feedback. All these cheap knockoff uh, adapters that you buy on eBay, they virtually never have a feedback from the output back to the input. What is, oh, look, they even put, oh, that's nice. Look, they even put little, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to point it with the screwdriver tip here. Look, here you, you have little, fer is it called ferrite? Uh, beads around them so that that's usually a good sign of quality because they took the time to add it around um, the what's that that's a diode uh, around the diode wires which is there to to reduce um, the transients and stuff and such I'll be there in a minute with uh, with this back together there we have it back together so now let's connect it to ac and see what we have as output right and no other nice feature that i haven't um, talked about yet it is that it is a uh, multi-voltage multi-frequency so that you can use it worldwide this is a very nice five volt power supply to put in your electrical cabinets okay so let's connect this to ac This is something also a little confusing. It is that these terminals, they come fully closed, fully screwed, which means that you have to unscrew the screw before you put the cable in. So here we don't have really a neutral because the sockets are reversible. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that you get to 130 volts in Europe, at least between the two 
the two terminals. So here we have it connected. As you can see, the LED is glowing now. And let's connect it to my old trusty, not so old actually. Well, I have it for a long time, but haven't used it much lately because I'm using another one at the moment for work. So let's screw this was on the plus side. If it come, uh oh, I can see that the terminal is not appreciating how hard I'm pushing on it. Just keep it like this so you can see we have five volts as output and let's see how how far we can go up and down so we can adjust it that's not the best screwdriver for this we can adjust it down by down all the way to 4.567 hey that's a nice number 4567 who cares so about 4.6 4 volts that's the low, low, lowest limit, but again, under low, that could be totally different. Probably not, because it need, it looks like a nice power supply, but uh, that's uh, with no load how low it goes. And let's go higher, and you can see we can go over 6 volts. So that's quite a nice range, and if you need something with a, a little more voltage, I'm thinking more about the old Raspberry Pis. I guess you could you could put it uh, slightly over the the voltage that you want. So th this is pretty much all I want to say about this uh, five volt DIN rail mount power supply from Meanwell. Um, but as you can see, it looks like a fairly nice, decent, and well built five volt supply for all your projects. Thanks for watching, gentlemen.